Well, looky what I have here. We have another parcel, and inside this one we should have a Game Boy Advance along with a very special cartridge. So, I'm just going to grab my knife and... It's enough bubble wrap to wrap a small child in. Oh. Well then. The cartridge is already inside the Game Boy. I mean, I guess that's one way to ship it. Oh, whoa, I see what you mean. So, this Game Boy I bought on eBay. And... Yeah, no batteries inside, but it does have the original back cover, which is nice. Okay, so looking at this Game Boy, um, the description was really accurate in saying that the... The actual screen here is jolting out of the case. I thought it might have been a screen protector that's on it. But it seems to be glued on, if it is. Obviously, when I go to mod this, I want to give this one of the HDMI mods that allows me to take an HDMI out. Uh, that way I can screen capture different games. I've got a bunch of fake Pokemon games coming that I'd really love to be able to screen capture. Um, yeah. So, with it, we get this little cartridge, which is an Easy Flash Reader Advance. Easy Flash Reader? No, Easy Flash Advance. These were sort of stay there for their time. You were able to connect them to your PC using the data link cable and the, the USB adapter one that comes with this. The problem with that is those cables don't get manufactured anymore. And to be able to communicate with a Game Boy via USB, they needed a certain microcontroller setup. As such, it's incredibly hard to find these now. So, the chances of me being able to use this to add ROMs to and such, very unlikely. But, I do have a Game Boy out of it, so I'm looking forward to that. Although I can see that there is some flecks of dust underneath the screen. So, whoever's been in at this, definitely hasn't left it in the nicest condition. There's even a wee scratch on the case there. I do plan to reshell it and everything though, so not too much of a worry. So let us turn it on and see what we get. Audio works. And we have six games, all of which... Oh, batteries are running low already. Oh dear. Choo-choo Rocket Super Mario A. I don't think you can see anything. Hang on, let me... There you go, you can actually see now. <laughs> Just have to turn off all the lights. Okay, that was stressful. This isn't a Mario playthrough. But yeah, no, um, it seems to be in alright condition. And it is quite clean. Um, although I don't know what they've done with the screen here. I need to work out what's happening with that. There we go, lights back on now. So let us just take out these batteries and I shall grab a screwdriver and we'll get this torn down. And there we have it. So that should just pop off. And the board looks in quite good nick. So, this is the little ribbon cable that I need to check to be able to buy the mod for the HDMI. And by looking at that part there where it says 40, it uh, leads me to believe that this is the 40 pin version. You get two different versions, you get the 30 pin and the 40 pin. So I think it's 32 pin. As such, they have to have two different ribbon cables for the HDMI mods to be able to fit that ribbon. So... That does let me know what I need. So it's a couple of days later and I had a chance to dig about inside this one and I managed to get the uh, one of the screen guards off and put the newer looking one on the top. That way it's nice and flush with the case now. Uh, I'm guessing the person before didn't know you could take it off or they were at least worried they would snap it. Um, either the screen or the the screen guard now that is over and done with um so we're continuing this video because i finally got a hold of this little board here 
Now, what this fancy little fella does is it takes the ribbon input for the screen and it does a conversion to HDMI for it so that you can take an HDMI out. So, what we're going to do today, because I do have a new case, new buttons and everything coming from Retro 6, which is a parts store here in the UK, um, I'm going to quickly take this one apart and I'm going to try and install this board into this DS with modding this shell because it does require you to cut a chunk out of the shell here and I've never really had to modify a shell in that way before so why not muck up the original case this one already has like a sort of chunk and scratches all over it from where it's been repaired or um, whatever it was they decided they were doing with this but yeah, so what I'm probably going to do is just do a wee table lapse of me taking this one apart and then we'll get into this wee board. So, okay, we have a completely hollowed out shell now. This little fella is meant to sit in round about there. With that approximately lined up, I'm just going to put two small dots on the inside of... Oh, that went a wee bit over there. Does that match up okay? So... I have misaligned them slightly, but I'll keep that into mind as I'm taking material away. But that should roughly be where I want to make the incision. Not perfect, uh, I probably don't need to start with snips ne next time, I can just go straight into filing it down. Maybe make a small indentation with the mini hacksaw first. Again, this was all trial and error just to see what I feel is like the best method for me. Everyone is different. Um, I feel like this could sit lower. But, well, let me see a second, so... With the case there like that, it does hide everything. Just how much space that leaves for the ribbon cable. Will be left to desired. But, I mean, that's almost seamless. Ignore my scratch marks. 
as I said, this was a first attempt. This case is going to get scrapped. But this is just a proof of concept for me first, just to make sure it all works before I go ahead and install it. Okay. So I have done a quick dry fit of the board just to make sure it works and everything. I managed to get a pass through to the screen and a signal from the HDMI. All I need to do is solder on the audio cables. They go into SO1 and SO2 here. And on the board here, we should have, I think it's on the other side. Do, do, do. There we go. We have SO1 and SO2. Now, what I can do here is quickly bring up my microscope. So, make sure I'm hitting the right plug without turning everything off there. Now the dangerous and fiery part is over. Righty, I think I'm ready. And last of all, we just pop in our ever ready golds and we should be golden. Well, look at that. So what I'll probably do is throw up a screen capture from this. So there you go, as you see the HDMI out works. That does mean we have reached the end of this video. Well, I will probably do a follow up where I get the new case. I have a battery mod coming for that where it uses a type C charger to recharge a rechargeable battery. And I will also change out the new case and try and get like a nicer fit for the HDMI out. I will probably do a video separately for that one. But if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you're enjoying the content, think about subscribing and have a great day.